Okay, chalo. so we'll start. In Laplace transform, a little part is left. That is Laplace transform of Laplace transforms of periodic functions. Just a minute. Okay, so the last topic uh, topic left from Laplace transform is Laplace transform of periodic functions, uh, unit step functions, and unit impulse functions, and unit impulse functions. Okay, so these are some standard functions you should know first, and what are the Laplace transforms of them? So we start with first Laplace transform of periodic functions. So how are the periodic functions? We know periodic functions are defined as if f of t is a periodic function of period t. Then how do you define the periodic function? Can anyone tell me? So suppose if that f of t is a periodic function of periodic function of period say a then that is first thing is uh, before defining its laplace transform if f of t is a periodic function of period a that means f of t plus a is f of t that is function repeats after every a interval right so this is what the periodic function means so we have to now define its Laplace transform. So if that function is a periodic function, then its Laplace transform is, it is derived and it is Laplace of such f of t, but not just a simple function, a periodic functions. Laplace is one upon one minus e raised to minus a s, a is the period into integration, 0 to period e raised to minus s t f of t dt. So in general, we have the formula integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt is the definition of Laplace for simple function. But if it is a periodic function, then it is integration from 0 to a, a is the period and the extra thing is multiplied here is 1 upon 1 minus e raise to minus a s. Please remember, can be asked in MCQ, what is Laplace transform of periodic function? So we can make it. Yes, any doubt? Any question? Sure. So we'll take one example on this. For example, if f of t is 1 in say 0 to 1 and say 0 in 1 to 2 and f of t is f of t plus 2. This is very important condition. If the condition is given, it means the given function is a what? Periodic. Periodic function. With period is what? f of t is f of t plus 2. So that 2, that a is the period. So here 2 is the period. Then show that Laplace of f of t, a fine Laplace of f of t can be the question or it can also be like show that Laplace of f of t is 1 upon s, 1 plus e raised to minus s. Okay, given is a function and a, it is nowhere define that the function is periodic, but function is periodic by this condition. You will just check whether the condition is given or it is said that the function is periodic. So either or, if the condition is there, yes, it is periodic. So we now write the given function 
f of t is a periodic function right with period 2 right that is a is 2 with period 2 that is a is 2 but for periodic function we have laplace of f of t as 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus a s integration 0 to a e raised to minus st f of t dt please remember the definition right now we can solve this by writing your value of a 1 minus e raised to a e here to so minus 2s integration from 0 to a is to e raised to minus st f of t dt so your job is to find out the integration over this function f of t, but then f of t breaks as 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So does integration also. That is, this part is as it is. And integration breaks as 0 to 1 plus 1 to 2. In 0 to 1, what is the value of the function? 1, right? So 1 into dt. And in 1 to 2, it is what? 0. Right. Correct. So this part is zero directly. Now we have to solve this integration. And integration of e raised to is what? e raised to minus s t upon minus s. Upon minus s, perfect. Because it is with respect to t and the constant here minus s from zero to one. Put the upper lower limits uh, for what? t, because it is with respect to t. So what is it? One upon one into upper limit t is one. Put t is one e raised to minus s upon minus s minus no limit t is zero e raised to zero. What is e raised to zero? One. One, one upon one. minus s. One upon minus s. This minus minus becomes plus. So from both of them, one by s is common. So we can take it out finally. So it is one upon s. 1 minus e raised to minus 2 s yes, into what is inside 1 this is minus e raised to minus s yes. was that the show that please check show that is little different 1 plus s 1 upon s 1 plus e raised to minus s yes, but we got let me take this forward 1 upon s yes, Okay, it is equal to 1 upon s, yes, 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus 2s, yes, and keep an apply. 1 minus e raised to minus s, yes, 1 minus e raised to minus s. Yes. And we have to obtain the show that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, show that is this 1 upon s, 1 plus e raised to minus s. Yes. Are you getting something? What you can do here? Okay, I'll give you one hint. This is one square minus e raised to minus s square. Now do you get something? Yes. Right, what is that? One minus e raised to minus s into one plus e raised to right. minus s. It is a square minus b square. And what is a square minus b square? a plus b, b is this, and into a minus b. And here it is one minus as it is. So this to get cancelled and you get this. So yes, this is your Laplace of f of t as required. So are you getting? Just you have to remember the uh, definition in case of periodic functions given. So it is defined like this if it is a periodic. 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus a s integration from 0 to a. Is there any doubt in the previous question you can ask? So we'll take one more on periodic function. Find Laplace transformer. F of t is equal to k t by t capital for 0 to t and f of t is f of t plus t is given. Okay, so 
how is the function first function is this in this given interval and something more interesting given here what it means given function is periodic right periodic function it is a periodic function the statement is given it means it is a periodic so f of t is periodic with period what is the period capital t correct with period capital t so here a is t right and laplace of f of t in case of periodic function right it is defined as can you just tell me the definition one upon one minus e raised to minus a s zero to a e raised to minus s t f of t dt you have to remember this okay now put that a as capital t one minus e raised to minus t s capital t s and it is from zero to a s t e raised to minus s t f of t d t and in zero to two we have uh, zero to t we have to integrate so zero to t your function is single function so we can write the value there so it is one upon one minus minus t s integration e raised to minus s t into f of t but f of t is k into t by t into dt so here integration is with respect to small t so here k and capital t can act as constant right as it depends on t a variable is t so k is constant and this t is also constant so they can come out of the integration so it is equal to 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus t s into k comes out t comes out integration 0 to t what remain t e raised to minus s t t t t e raised to minus s t t t how to integrate this very good correct so this is your and this is your this is what u u and this is t u correct so it is one of one this is as it is into k by t as it is and integration u v u in the integration of this is e raised to minus s t upon minus minus yes correct minus derivative of this is One integration of this is e raised to minus s t upon yes yes s square correct and next derivative is zero so over from zero to capital T okay so this as it is k by t as it is into now what will be replaced by what small t is replaced by capital T capital T right so t e raised to minus s t Upon minus s minus e raised to minus s t upon s square. This is the upper limit. Minus small t is replaced by zero for the lower limit. So the zero into anything zero minus e raised to zero. That is one upon s square. And you can stop here. This is your answer. If you want to collect further, you can do that. Do you understand now? How is the Laplace of periodic function? Yes. There yes. You Correct. There you need a particular formula and a period of that function, and then if you have, you can solve. <clears throat> I of uh, uh, last in last lecture, I first thought that these topics are not in your syllabus right now as online, but later I come to know that this is in. So I'm taking it as I have decided and declared also that syllabus is over, but not these three topics are there. i have checked someone has sent me the syllabus from you and yes they are in your syllabus so my bad so we are taking it so do you understand the concept of periodic yes, yes ma'am chalo so we'll go to the next topic that is laplace transform of laplace transforms of periodic function is done next is unit step function unit step function
functions. So unit step functions can also be called as heavy sides unit step functions. Heavy sides unit step function, or it can simply can call as unit step function. Okay, and is defined as, do you know what is unit step function? It name itself indicates, and as it is heavy sides, this is the name of that mathematician. So a capital H is the notation of heavy sides. And is defined as H of T minus A is zero if T is less than A. And H of T minus A, the value is one if that T is greater than or equal to Okay, remember how does it define? Sorry. So if it is, you are going to plot this. And if this is your H of T minus A function and if T's values are here. So if we have uh, taken some reference point A. So if that T is less than A, the value everywhere it is zero. If T less than A, so the all values of T less than A, here, the value of this function is this zero. And if you are taking the value a or greater than a, here are greater than a. So here the function, suppose this is one. So here from this point onward, the value of this function is always this one. Okay. So means what happened here is there is a step. So like this, there is a step. So from this, you are going to this. So this is called as unit step function as there is a step of length one. This length is one, this is zero, zero to one. So that it is called unit step function. Understand the function first. If less than a, it is zero. If greater than or equal to a, the value is one. And it is denoted by h of t minus a. A is the reference point, so it is called minus a there, t minus a notation. And if, do you understand now what is the function? Unit step function. It looks like a step of unit length. That's why it is called unit step function. So if that particularly A is zero, so I'll call, uh, write it here again, H of T minus A is zero. If T is less than A and is one, if T is greater or equal A. So particularly if that A is zero, then you can define h of t is zero if t is less than zero and is one if t is greater than or equal to one. And this is now called unit step function. Unit step function. And this is called heavy sides unit step function. Okay, so if you particularly take that A0, then it is H of T. And how is it H of T then? A reference point here is zero, the origin. And the value is zero if T's are less than zero. Okay, and if T is greater equal one, oh, sorry, T is zero, 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 T is zero. And if that uh, those T's are greater equal zero, from this point onward, the value of the function is one, right? So here it is a step at zero. So this is unit step function. Now, we, these are the uh, basic concepts of unit step functions. So we need Laplace of those. So we want this Laplace of H of T minus A. Okay, so if you want to find out, you can use the definition integration zero to infinity e raised to minus st into your function h of t minus a dt. But h of t minus a definition baga it breaks t less than a and greater than or equal a. Manje zero to a upon zawayat and a to infinity zawayat. So integration breaks at zero to a and a to infinity. And what is the value in? 0 to a of this h of t minus a. A parenta chi value kai t is less than a, the value is 0. Correct. So here it is 0 into dt. And from a to infinity, the value is 1. 1. Right. So this is 0. 
and we have to solve this integration which is integration of e raised to minus st that is e raised to minus st upon minus s from a to infinity so if you put the upper limit t as infinity it becomes e raised to minus infinity that is what e raised to minus infinity correct one upon e raised to infinity that is one upon infinity that is zero right so zero into anything upper limit is zero minus lower limit t you are writing a so e raised to minus s a upon minus s that is e raised to minus a s minus minus becomes plus upon s is the laplace transform of h of t minus a so how does it come you don't want that you want this laplace of h of t minus a is e raised to e raised to this if it is minus a it is minus a s upon s okay that is laplace of h of t minus a you'll write the definition here e raised to minus a s upon s so can you just tell me what will be the laplace of h of t you just put a is zero here you'll get the answer what will be the answer if a is zero one upon s one upon s good one upon s so just put s a is zero and we are getting the second definition also so these are the things which we will need please note them mark so sagla nahi note kele tari chalen ya definitions are important h is the unit step function manje h of t ha act karto like one a h of t can act as one laplace of one one by s as the kin so a unit step can be act as a one function one so it is one by s पण हा जर हेवी साईड असेल तर वन बाय एस ला सोबत हा तुम्हाला लाईक फर्स्ट शिफ्ट पहिला बाहेर काढून घ्यावा लागेल आठवतय का ई रेस टू पण तिथे प्लस असेल तर मायनस येत होत मायनस असेल तर प्लस येत उलट होत होत पण या ठिकाणी इट इज मायनस असेल तर मायनस आणि एच ऑफ टी राहिला की दॅट मीन्स वन बाय एस हाऊ यू रिमेंबर इट इज अप टू यू तर बट जस्ट रिमेंबर okay next we need is now we'll write the formula directly laplace of h of t minus a into f of t minus a if the two are multiplied together so it is defined as e raised to minus a s this minus a minus a comes out as e raised to minus a s into laplace of f of t only ha minus a ha minus a jar bahar padla na first shift na tasa fakta lakshat theva ki minus la ithe minus as padto thik hai so the h of t ani f of t rahil par h of t acts as one we know that right so one into f of t that is only f of t this is also very important लॅपलास ट्रान्सफॉर्म ते आपल्याला फॉर्म्युला मध्ये वापरावं लागतील नेक्स्ट लॅपलास ट्रान्सफॉर्म ऑफ एच ऑफ टी मायनस ए इन टू एफ ऑफ टी इट इज लाईक ई रेस टू दॅट मायनस ए कम्स आउट म्हणजे याच्यासाठी आधी काय करते बर का डायरेक्टली फॉर्म्युला जेव्हा लिहिते मी आधी सांगते हे काय करावं लागेल एच ऑफ टी मायनस ए करावं लागेल एफ ऑफ टी मायनस ए करावं लागेल मायनस ए केला की प्लस ए पण करूयात ठीक आहे आता जिथे टी आहे तिथे टी मायनस ए आहे सो दॅट ई रेस टू मायनस ए कम्स आउट अँड व्हॉट रिमेन देअर इज लॅपलास ऑफ एच ऑफ टी एफ ऑफ टी प्लस ए पण एच ऑफ टी इज वन सो इट इज जस्ट लॅपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी प्लस ए प्लीज रिमेंबर दोघांच्या ठिकाणी जर मायनस ए मायनस ए असेल तर सिम्पल फंक्शन राहील तो मायनस ए बाहेर पडेल पण एका ठिकाणी आहे आणि दुसरीकडे नाहीये तर तिथं तो आधी आणावा लागेल मग त्यातला मायनस ए बाहेर येईल आणि तो जो प्लस ए तो ते ऍड होऊन जाईल अँड थर्ड वन इज लॅपलास ऑफ एच ऑफ टी इन टू एफ ऑफ टी कॅन एनी वन टेल मी वॉट विल बी दॅट 
इतना आला होता है लापला सब एच ऑफ टी इन टू एफ ऑफ टी साला होता है तो तुम्हें काय लिला तो कैन यू जस्ट टेल मी दिस लापला सब एच इन टू एफ आई टोल्ड यू एच ऑफ टी एक्स एस वन सो वन इन टू एनीथिंग कैन बी लापला सब एफ ऑफ टी ओनली ओके very important these three formulae are for solving the example and can be asked all of them please note them so that we can go to the question and you can uh, easily now define laplace inverse of okay if you want to take laplace inverse या बाजू का लैपलास इनवर्स ऑफ वन बाय एस यू कैन राइट एच ऑफ टी एस चलो टेक वन क्वेश्चन फाइंड लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ टी स्क्वेर इनटू एच ऑफ टी माइनस थ्री अतः इतना कहीं तरी वेग्रास एच आला अतः परंतु एच तुम्हें पहला स्नो था अतः पहला है तुम्हारा एच महत्ती है क्या या है एच मैं एच सी रिलेटेड एच जेव एच आला फॉर्म्यूले तुम्हारा महती है जे मैं इधे लिखे आता हापैकी कु फॉर्म्यूला आला हा इत टी मैनस थ्री है इतने टी है हा एफ ऑफ टी है हा एच ऑफ टी मैनस ए है कुछ लगते अपने सैकेंड से लगते फंक्शन है इंटू एच ऑफ टी मैनस ए है सो वी नीड दैट सो राइट दैट फॉर्म्यूला वी नो लैपलास ऑफ एच ऑफ टी मैनस ए इंटू एफ ऑफ टी is what e raised to yeah. minus a s into la plus of f of, f of t plus a. t plus a. so you uh, you will use this here therefore la plus of t square h of t minus 3 is a is here 3 so ha bahar e e raised to minus 3 s into la plus of function ja ahe tumche te t square e त्या टी मध्य टी प्लस ए हो जो ए है तुम्हारा थ्री ठीक है इट इज टी प्लस थ्री स्क्वेर फंक्शन मध्य टी ऐसी जागी टी प्लस ए करा तुम फंक्शन है फंक्शन मध्य टी ऐसी जागी मैं टी प्लस थ्री जो स्क्वेर है तो ऐज इट इज यू गॉट दिस स्टेप सो इट इज ई रेस टू माइनस थ्री एस इंटू ला प्लस ऑफ जो स्क्वेर दिस टी स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्स टी Plus three square is nine. So now you can separate this and solve. So Laplace of t square plus six into Laplace of t plus nine into Laplace of one. That is e s to minus three s into. What is this answer? What is Laplace of t square? अतः है आप लोग use यो ना लो. Laplace of t s to l. Two upon s raised to three. Correct. Two factorial upon s raised to two plus one. That is s cube. Two factorial is two plus six. What is that plus of t? Tell me, that plus of t. One upon s one upon s one upon s one upon s square plus. What is that plus of one? One upon one upon, one upon s. So done. This is your answer of this given question. We got it. Just whenever there is H capital H, you <laughs> have to think that this is unit step, and we have some formally derived. Use them and solve. Next question. Find Laplace transform of T. Uh, wait, wait, wait. T minus three raised to four. T minus three raised to four into h of t minus three. H is there. Again, h is there, and we know we have one formula. Tell me that. Putla lagay lata. Ite pan ite pan t minus a hai three. Ite pan t minus three a hai. मुझे एक आ है अप्लाइड करे. Laplace of 
एफ ऑफ टी मैनस ए इंटू एच ऑफ टी मैनस ए दो टी मैनस ए तो ए निगुन जाए फच ऑफ टी तो वन राइट लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी रही सो वी यूज दिस लैपलास ऑफ टी मैनस थ्री रेस टू फोर एच ऑफ टी मैनस थ्री इज रेस टू मैनस थ्री मैनस थ्री एस करेक्ट इंटू लैपलास ऑफ वॉट हा मैनस थ्री चाहिए दोगे काम संपल कट एच ऑफ टी दैट इज वन एंड ओनली वॉट रिमेन्ड इज एफ ऑफ टी हा एफ ऑफ टी मैनस ए जाऊन फ टी रही सो टी रेस टू फोर रही इज दैट करेक्ट चलो वी टेक वन मोर एंड सी द लास्ट टाइप इन दैट सेगमेंट that is unit inverse take the next question find laplace transform of sin t into h of t minus pi <coughs> which formula you are going to use करेक्ट Minus pi s out into Laplace of sine what sine what plus a t plus a a t plus t plus apna kya hai kare pi so sine of t plus pi now we have to solve this ha jo a hai na to me jo bahar karta hai pi तो जो ए आहे तो फक्त टी ला ऍड करायचा इकडे टी प्लस ए करायचा तो हा झाला टी प्लस पाय आता नाउ यू हॅव टू सॉल्व दिस हाउ विल यू सॉल्व साइन ऑफ टी प्लस पाय साइन सी प्लस डी राइट व्हाट इज दैट फॉर्म्युला साइन ए cos b प्लस cos a साइन b करेक्ट इज द फॉर्म्युला Yes. Right. So e raised to minus pi s is there. From this, cos pi will come out as constant, and Laplace of sine t. What is Laplace of sine t? Correct. Plus from this, sine pi will come out into what is Laplace of cos t? Yes. Yes. Upon square plus one. Correct. So, but we know some values. Cos pi is what is cos pi value? <coughs> minus one. Minus one upon s square plus one. And what is sine pi? Zero. zero. So zero into anything is zero. So this is your answer. I guess now you understand this. फंक्शन्स 
Okay, so what unit impulse function is, let me just um, tell you this f of t, it is defined as zero, one upon epsilon, and again zero. Zero for some values where t is less than a, and it is, uh, if that t is in between a to a plus epsilon, a can be there and a plus epsilon can also be there. The value is one by epsilon and it is again zero when t is greater than a plus epsilon. So has sagri kare zero sahe, fakta evha rain madhe tachi kahitari ek value ahe. Manje like kasai te function, ki baki sagri kare te te zero sahe panji te a ani a plus epsilon, a epsilon is the positive value. Okay, so iha range madhe, छोटी and that is called unit impulse. Unit, adi to one by epsilon a hai, and the epsilon a hai nanta one ho to, jau aapan limit ghe to, so that is the unit value, unit impulse. Manje aapan, jau a cardiogram kaad to hai, asa kahi tari hai, jata na apla. They are impulses, right? So here we get the impulse, and it is the function. And if you take the limit of this function as epsilon tends to zero, uh, sorry, limit as yes, epsilon tends to zero, the value will be one. So that is called unit impulse. Okay, so this is how the function is defined. And we define unit impulse as delta. So delta of t minus a is defined as limit epsilon tends to zero of that function f of t. Take the limit of this function as epsilon tends to zero, you will get the unit impulse. And this is the notation of unit impulse. Are generally the impulse. And if you want the unit function of this impulse, so you could just a zero. So we get delta t. And the delta t will be what then? Put a is zero here. Put a is zero. Limit epsilon tends to zero f of t. There will be no change because it a she kahi relate nahi hai. Tum function madhe zal tumi original f of t madhe tithe a la zero the bar pakta. F of t defined karta na ita t less than zero. Zero to epsilon and greater than epsilon. As I defined it. That is called the unit impulse. Please remember. Definition. Instead, we will go to find its Laplace now. So Laplace of delta t minus a. If you will go and find, you will get it as e s to minus a s. Please remember. And if we put a is zero, what we'll get Laplace of delta t? What will be Laplace of this? Put a is zero, e raised to zero, that is one, right? Uh, remember this form. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, equal to zero. Yes, just a minute, huh? something happened. Is this visible now? Yes, no. yes. Okay, okay. So yes. Uh, you can do this all. Integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into delta t minus a. You can solve it. You will get this value. Okay. Every time you don't solve this, just remember like how we do in h of t minus a. So in h of t minus a, there is one extra thing that is 1 upon s. And in delta, it is just e raised to minus a s. And if you put a is zero, we get uh, Laplace of delta t is one. 
next is we want so call this one two three laplace of delta t minus a into f of t if the function is multiplied then it is e raised to minus a s into f of a please remember e raised to minus a s will come out and whatever is that a you will put into the function as t a and you will write just the value of that function that's it these are three formula in impulse you have to remember them so chalo we'll take the question so you can mark them important formula find laplace transform of sin 2t into delta t minus 2 we have the formula delta t minus a into f of t this is the form this is the formula so how can we write that so laplace of sin 2t into delta t minus 2 here this 2 or minus 2 will come out as e raised to minus 2s and into f of a has a tumza f of t ahe it the t la tumi a thevaycha hai ए आहे तुमचा टू ठीक आहे सो साईन टू इंटू टी ला तुम्हाला ठेवायचं आहे टू साईन टू इंटू टू सो युअर आन्सर इज ई रेस टू मायनस टू एस इंटू साईन फोर डन एनी डाऊट नो इथला ई रेस टू मायनस टू एस विल कम आउट ई रेस टू मायनस ए एस कम कम्स आउट it's roll over and just f of t becomes f of a whatever is a you will put over t in that function f of t and you will write the answer chalo next you can solve find laplace transform of t is to 4 into h of t minus 2 plus t square into delta t minus 2 ek h hai ek delta hai you can solve now kya karta hai can you just separate them yes la plus of t square into oh sorry t raised to 4 into h of t minus 2 separate plus laplace of t square into delta t minus 2 that is equal to just separate it so it is equal to do you have this formula and what is that if you have e raised to minus 2 yes hmm? into laplace t plus of t plus 2 raised to 4 raised to raised to 4 very good t plus 2 in case of h this a is added to t in case of delta what will be the answer e raised to minus 2s into ha tumcha f of t ahe yes t cha jagi tumhi a thevaycha a 2 2 square एफ ऑफ टी तुम टी स्क्वेर है कि नहीं इकड़े सो इतने तुम्हारा लिया एफ ऑफ ए ए है अपना टू एफ ऑफ टू कर सोप है एक लाइन मध्य गेट द आंसर नॉट दिस प्लस यू हेव टू राइट द फोर्थ पावर ऑफ दिस You know the fourth power. If you don't know, you can just try this t plus two square into t plus two square. If you don't know, and then this is four into e raised to minus two s, and t plus two raised to four. What is that formula? Do you know the formula? This is a plus b raised to n. N C zero a raised to n b raised to zero. N C one a raised to n minus one b raised to one. N C N C two a raised to n minus two b square. So use it here. For C zero t 
थ्री रेस टू फोर टू रेस टू जीरो प्लस फोर सी वन टी रेस टू डिक्रीज इनक्रीज फोर सी वन टी क्यूब टू वन फोर सी टू टी स्क्वेर टू स्क्वेर फोर सी थ्री टी टू क्यूब एंड प्लस लास्ट इज फोर सी फोर टी रेस टू जीरो हो लिखे एंड टू रेस टू फोर ये पावर हाइएस्ट याची लोएस्ट देन डिक्रीज याची इनक्रीज पुन्हा डिक्रीज याची इनक्रीज डिक्रीज वन डिक्रीज बाय वन इनक्रीज बाय वन असं किती येते बघा ते आपल्याला तिथे लिहावं लागेल फोर सी झिरो एनिथिंग सी झिरो इज वन सो टी रेस टू फोर टू रेस टू झिरो इज ऑल्सो वन फोर सी वन इज फोर टी क्यूब इंटू टू फोर इंटू टू इज एट फोर सी टू थर्टी 32t and then last for c4 is 1 raised to 0 is also 1 plus t raised to 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 is 60 so this is the expansion of t plus 2 raised to 4 write it there and so you will get the answer हे काढू खालच लिहित आहे चलो पुढे जाऊया हरा होते असं स्क्वायर दिस इज द फॉर्म्युला वी यूज नो यू कॅन जस्ट सेपरेट अँड राईट आन्सर थोडीशी बाबा लागते मला इथेच करते इट इज ई रेस टू मायनस टू इज इन टू वॉट इज दिस लॅपलॅस ऑफ टी रेस टू फोर फोर फॅक्टोरियल अपॉन एस रेस टू एट इन टू ला प्लस ऑफ टी क्यू थ्री फॅक्टोरियल एस रेस टू फोर करेक्ट ट्वेंटी फोर इन टू टू फॅक्टोरियल अपॉन एस प्लस थर्टी टू इन टू ला प्लस ऑफ टी वन अपॉन अपॉन एस स्क्वेअर प्लस सिक्स्टीन इंटू ला प्लस ऑफ वन वन अपॉन एस प्लस फोर इन एस टू मायनस टू एस डन you can write if you want four factorial okay four factorial you can write that now i think you understand this you have to remember the formula that's it एक देऊ का आणखी करतात लास्ट वन सो फाइंड लॅपलस ऑफ टी एच ऑफ टी मायनस फोर प्लस टी स्क्वेअर डेल्टा टी मायनस फोर ओके दिस इज द क्वेश्चन प्लीज सॉल्व इट यू टेल मी द आन्सर and here your laplas now ends be prepared be ready for the test now with all these are uh, uh, today's part also that can also be in your test hmm chalo how do you write this so let me first write this and think about the formula h j and delta j first thing is sorry you can separate the so laplace of t h of t minus 4 plus laplace of t square delta t minus 4 hmm in case of h what is the formula e raised to minus 4 yes correct into, into laplace of t plus 4 very good h 
एकाला टी मैनस है एक नहीं है तो दुसरा लड हो फंक्शन लिस इज इन केस ऑफ एच डेल्टा टी रेस टू मैनस यस वेरी गुड इन टू फोर रेस टू टू फोर स्क्वे करेक्ट एफ ऑफ ए कर तो टी जिथे तिथे ए ठेवाय फोर चा स्क्वेअर सो डन ई रेस टू मायनस फोर एस इन टू लॅप प्लस ऑफ टी वॉट इज दॅट वन अपॉन एस स्क्वेअर प्लस फोर इन टू लॅप प्लस ऑफ वन वन अपॉन एस प्लस फोर स्क्वेअर इज सिक्सटीन इन टू ई रेस टू मायनस फोर एस इज द आन्सर Any doubt? Anything you want to ask? Please go ahead and ask. Hey, are you here? Right. Please mute. Please mute yourself. Write one homework. Find Laplace of sine t into delta t minus pi by two. Minus t square into delta t minus two. Take one more. Find Laplace transform of one plus three t minus four t square. Plus two t cube into h of t minus three. Okay, sir. So these are your homeworks now. And is this now completed with the whole syllabus part? Is there anything left? You can tell me at this. So I guess we'll meet again uh, in our next lecture. That is, I guess it is at. Three forty-five. So we'll see your doubts there, and we'll start with the new unit that is numerical methods. And I again request you all to please be prepared for the test because the test marks will be considered in your final term work. Chal. So this is all. But wait. Let me take attendance. Do not leave now. Just wait for some time. Let me take attendance. Okay, that's it. Please stop.